Hi, I'm Anisha. Uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time to talk with me and give the TED Talk earlier today. Thank uh, you. I was hoping you could explain a little about the app and device you created. Mm -hmm. So it's a wearable sticker which can go on top of any kind of garment. It detects between an unusual form of removal of clothing versus an unusual form of removal of clothing. And while we were trying to make this technology, we really wanted to focus on situations when a person is incapacitated or not in a situation to fight against the assaulter. And this could be just because they're children or are disabled or just are bedridden, or probably because I had too many drinks that night. And uh, yeah, so the device, once it detects such a forceful removal of clothing or an unusual one, which is not you, uh, it sends a message onto the wearer's phone asking if the act was done with consent. It starts buzzing the loud alarm if no response is received within the stipulated time frame. And there's a way in which the wearer can turn it off if it comes to their notice. But that's only known to the wearer using a passcode. And if it's not turned off, we assume that it's a problematic situation that you need immediate attention or it could be a form of assault. So we start broadcasting the information about the wearer's location. And this information is shared with five people who are predefined by the user. And it could be police, but it doesn't have to be. So we give the wearer the ability to decide if they really want to share it with the police or not. The device also have a self, has a self-actuation button, which can be triggered by the wearer if they know that there's an approaching threat. And this can be used for conscious situations or when you're like at a bus stop and there's somebody weird standing next to you. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit about the device. Great. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, was there anything you wanted to talk about now that you didn't have the chance to during the TED Talk? So uh, I really hope that uh, we have a world which is free of all such crimes. And something which I really want to make sure is that we don't have to create such devices in future. And this all ends by 2020 latest. Uh, one thing which I really believe and is very important is that if you have any problem in your life, uh, you should really talk about it. Because if you were silently observing it and just thinking that this is normal, but it doesn't really make sense to you and it's irrational, if you speak about it, there'll be many others who are suffering silently but significantly every day. And when you do that, they would get all the energy to speak about it, think about it, and do something about it. And I think that's very, very important in this age to really come out and talk about the problems which we have, not just in the space of like security, but it's just anything, because you're not the only one who is suffering. There are many others like you, but they just choose not to, and somebody has to. Great. And with your app, it gives someone the ability to identify when an act like that's going to happen. I know you've said some places don't recognize that as a crime or don't acknowledge that as a true risk. Could you speak to more about how that's an issue? So yes, uh, the device uh, can really try to help people, uh, but we have a legislative glitch there. And imagine if a person is suffering from an issue like marital rape. Now, marital rape is not recognized by many parts of the world. Like for example, in the United States itself, only 37 states actually recognize it. So you could probably appeal for justice in the court in those 37 states. But if you happen to be in those rare 13 ones, you probably can't even appeal to the court for marital rape. And at and that time, even the device detects documents and does everything possible to prevent and like to speak for you, we would utterly fail. And if we look outside United States, there are a lot of countries which don't even recognize it at the first place. I know that we're debating in the United States about this, but in India, for example, where I actually come from, uh, the very minister doesn't believe in it and says that it doesn't apply to India at all. So that's really sad, and I hope uh, that we really recognize the pain of these victims. Yeah. And if there is one thing you want the audience to take away from this interview or your talk earlier, what would that be?
please speak about your problems because there are other people who are really suffering from the same problem but aren't speaking or don't have the ability to really talk or are just thinking it's normal to have it but if you find ever that there's something irrational happening to you please question it and speak about it and that would make the others really think about it and do something about it well, thank you manisha <laughs>